Thank you for giving me this opportunity to make things extremely clear. We agree with the tribunal's finding uh, that there must be compensation uh, for those who were harmed. This is a principle that this government has uh, exerced and fulfilled many times in the past, whether it was on the 60s scoop, whether it was on forced relocations or day schools or Inuit TB, uh, we need to compensate those who've been harmed. But the question is how to do that. We need to have conversations with partners, uh, we need conversations with communities, with leaders, to make sure we're getting that compensation right. Those are conversations that we cannot have during a writ period. Government can't be having those discussions because we're in a writ period. Therefore, we need time to be able to do that and get it right because Canadians expect us to get it right and Indigenous peoples expect, expect us to get it right and that's what we'll do. J'apprécie le moment de pouvoir uh, clarifier notre position et de mettre au clair pour tout le monde. Nous sommes d'accord avec le tribunal qu'on a besoin de compenser ceux qui ont été blessés par ces politiques. C'est un principe que ce gouvernement a toujours accepté et qu'on a mis en œuvre dans la question des pensionnats, dans la question des relocalisations forcées, euh, dans la question euh, de la rafle des années 60. On sait qu'on doit compenser ceux qui ont été blessés par ces politiques. La question devient comment bien les compenser, comment le faire de la bonne façon. Pour ça, il faut avoir des, des conversations avec nos partenaires, avec les peuples autochtones, avec des leaders, avec des communautés. Et c'est des conversations qu'on ne peut pas avoir pendant une période électorale. Et donc, nous sommes en train de demander pour plus de temps pour, pour pouvoir avoir ces conversations. Est-ce que, est que vous voulez leur en donner moins, M. Trudeau? Euh, on veut les compenser de la bonne façon et de s'assurer que ça soit fait de la bonne façon, comme on a pu le faire dans les autres situations. Ça prend des vraies conversations. This is the number one recommendation from the Truth and Reconciliation yes. Committee, Commission. Excuse me. It hits to the core of that number one call to action. Mm -hmm. And you are seen to be taking kids to court instead of compensating them. We, no, we agree that we need to compensate them. We absolutely agree there needs to be compensation. The question on how to do it requires conversations with partners, with communities, uh, with experts. So why experts. didn't you ask for, and the, for an extension okay. instead of asking for a judicial review? The uh, decision by the Human Rights Tribunal came down mere days before the actual, uh, the actual writ got dropped, uh, and the Canadian Human Rights Tribunal expects us to bring in a plan of action by December. That is simply not practical, not possible, given the electoral context we are in. That is why we need to have more time to be able to have these conversations. So what sort of goodwill are you, are you fostering, Mr. Trudeau? The, the AFN's Perry Belgard came out with a statement and said he called the, this decision um, by you beyond unacceptable were his words. You want to have conversations and yet you've got the AFN now saying that uh, it's beyond unacceptable. What sort of goodwill does this we, foster? We need to get this compensation right. We need to do this the right way and Canadians know that that is not something that Ottawa decides. It's something that we've decided in partnership. Whether it was the 60s scoop, whether it was the, uh, the uh, forced relocations, whether it was the day schools, uh, whether it was the TB apology and compensations. These are things that need to be done in a respectful way with communities and in an electoral period we simply do not have time to do it. We recognize the harm that has been done and we fully accept the need for compensation but Canadians expect us to get it right and uh, Indigenous peoples expect us to get it right and that's exactly what we're going to do. On a augmenté uh, jusqu'à 1.2 milliards de dollars uh, nos, nos investissements à chaque année pour les services aux enfants. On comprend qu'on a, avec notre, notre, notre projet de loi, on a amélioré, on est en train de redonner aux communautés autochtones la capacité de la garde de leurs enfants et donner le financement nécessaire. Donc, on est en train déjà de changer le système. Ça, c'est une question de comment on peut bien Et de, et de façon appropriée à compenser ceux qui ont été blessés dans le passé par le système. Et pour ça, on doit avoir des conversations qui ne peuvent pas avoir lieu pendant une période électorale. So if you, if you form government, so if, if you form government, if you form government, then you won't.
Liberal Leader Justin Trudeau in St. Anaclet, Quebec.